One morning in 1888, Alfred Nobel, the man who invented dynamite, picked up the morning newspaper and to his shock, he read an account of his own death. The reporter had made a mistake. It was his cousin, not he who had died. So in reading his own obituary, Alfred Nobel realized just how he would be recognized and remembered should he die. He would be the dynamite king, a merchant of death. This so disturbed and upset Nobel that he decided to give his life a whole new direction. He became involved in the work of peace and justice and made it a point to ensure that money was set aside so an annual award would be given to those engaged in that work of peace. So when Alfred Nobel died, his obituary made no mention of his being the merchant of death. He was hailed instead as a humanitarian, especially the establishment of the Nobel Peace Prize. You could say that a mistake in 1888 gave Alfred Nobel a second chance. As a result, the world has been given a wonderful legacy. Agostino D'Antonio, a sculpture from Florence, Italy, worked diligently and unsuccessfully on this large slab of marble. I can't do anything with this, he finally said, and he just discarded the stone. And it lay in rubbish for 40 years, and on strolling one day by, Michelangelo saw the stone, and he carried it to his studio. He spent weeks chiseling on this piece of marble, and there came the image of David. It would ultimately become one of his masterpieces. There's no telling what good result will happen when someone or something is given a second chance.